Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. And today I got something in the post um, by airmail. It's upside down. Um, and it is from um, Royal Mail, United Kingdom, all that good stuff. Got to me pretty quickly. And uh, I sort of pre-cut the box. So I didn't really go into this because I'm sort of excited and nervous at the same time. Let's see what we got. There's a little note on top. All right. Yeah, that's where I ordered it from. Set that on side. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. I'm nervous. Please not be bullshit. So paper packing, nice. Tucked in the side. And plastic wrapped. Let's put it nice and snug in there. Let's get this out of the way. Whew. Um yeah, let's, let's get out of plastic. I am so ecstatic right now. Look at this perfect plastic. Like, I don't even want to open it. Look at the clarity. Jesus. And as you guys can see, it's Darth Maul. You know, when I said that I wasn't going to, you know, mess around that I wanted people that have were lightsaber wielders I had to get my boy Darth Maul you know he is a bad mofo so I I am stoked and I'm going to go into a little bit of reasons why but let's look at this packaging first he comes in this typical box came with this the orange line they also have blue line and stuff like that, but Darth Maul came with the orange line. It's number two. And comes in this beautiful box. The top. Star Wars Black Series. You got that sexy little artwork of Darth Maul. Darth Maul looking badass in there. Hasbro, Darth Maul. The bottom. Nothing on the side. Clear window on this side. Then we got the back. A little bit of a bio there. Artwork. All the information. Then that on top. Now. Before I get into the figure, the reason I was nervous is because I picked this figure up as it won't focus. Come on, focus, camera. There we go. Jeez. So, uh, this was a eBay score from the UK. And I do believe somebody was telling me, I think it was Brock, um, you got a Code 3 collector, check out his channel because it's awesome he's a funny dude but uh brock told me he's like dude it's like you can get these people that are selling these you know ridiculously priced darth malls he's like but there's these uk versions and he picked one up he sent me a picture and i was like okay okay you know it looks legit but then i started like looking around and like i'm like how do i know i'm not gonna get some knockoff crap so did my research what you can do, this helps. If you see this part up here, this is gray. You see it in solid black, it's a knockoff. Also, dealing with the horn protruding right here, that is not shaded in. Um, that's another way. But the biggest one, and it's easily done with this head right there. The lines coming from his eyes 
up and the knockoff are very, very thick. And these are very thin. That's an easy way of knowing, but it's definitely the facial tattoos that you can tell on this one right here. The biggest thing, and you, you can actually tell by the faces, the faces look how they're supposed to be. The knockoffs, this one looks like it'd be scared. It's like scared as crap. And the head's usually um, not glued to the hood with the knockoffs. Um, but this is the real deal. I am excited. And uh, Plastic Addict, if you're watching this, bro, this might be how we're going to get you that other grail. Possibly, you know, I'm going to try my other ways, but this is not a bad idea. This is just from the UK. Nothing on here looks different that I could tell. Um, I'm not sure if the UPC is supposed to actually have his name on there or not. If it is, I'd say that's probably the only thing that's missing, but enough of me jibber jabbering because I'm just giddy like a schoolgirl. Let's let's go ahead and uh, get this bad boy out of his package. All right, we got Darth Maul out of the package looking badass. Um, he does come with a variety of accessories. One of those accessories being that memorable binoculars. These are painted and sculpted really, really well. It's a very iconic item that he used. I mean, not as iconic as a lightsaber, but look at the, look at the detail, the paint, the, the love they put into this figure. I can see plastic. I can see, brother, why like I'm geeking and this is just the binoculars, man. I'm I'm, I'm geeking the freak out like Oh, all right, let me let me set that down. He does come with comes with his lightsabers. Beautiful red lightsabers. It's got the cool sculpt and buttons painted. And then, of course, you know, it can't be Darth Maul. Cannot be Darth Maul without connecting these lightsabers. Look at that. Definitely, the movie did not give this man justice. And uh, if you guys, you know, follow the Clone Wars and all that stuff, I mean, and uh, yeah, I wish they would have done it and fought, kept following through with Darth Maul when he got his new legs and all that stuff. And just, yeah. But let's uh, look at the last accessory. I saved the best for last. The blurry face now. His regular face. Look at those pupils. Look at that. Like yellow with like the red outline. Like. I don't know what happened. Like. From this moment Hasbro had a bunch of hiccups. With their quality and even some of their Marvel Legends. And then even some of their newer Star Wars. But look at. They, they definitely put a lot of love into this guy. And I am happy, happy they did. Okay. So that's, that's his extra head. I'm going to go into, over into the figure as he is out of the package. We will switch heads and then go over articulation as it will be a little bit easier. But... This is the head sculpt that comes on them. Just looks awesome. Like, he can get a little bit of, uh, not much. His head can look down, I guess. But it's very limited because this cloak he comes in is a nice pliable rubber. And look at that sculpt work. That, that, 
that robe. Like, they didn't just slap a big glob of fabric on this figure. They took the time to sculpt this out, mold it into this nice pliable rubber. Or pliable plastic, however you want to do it. Like, rubber, plastic, whatever. But yeah, like, it looks freaking awesome. And just sits right. And just, like, imagine, you know, just sitting back here. Put each lightsaber in each hand. So focus on him. Come on now. There we go. Just be awesome. But let's go ahead and pop his head off. And take a look at what this figure is all about. This is the concerning part. Like, how do they do this? Oh, that's... Don't judge me, guys. I'm just trying to figure out how to get his arms out. Come on. Without messing this up. <laughs> Why? I don't get it. Oh, man. You guys are seeing me struggle. I don't want to tear this thing at all. There's got to be an easy way. All right. There we go. All right. Whew. I was worried, like, because they come. He has slits and everything. But I was more concerned. I didn't want to tear anything. Like, you can see how probably it'd be easy to tear. So, sort of put that back there. And it's cool because it can actually sort of stand by itself. Put it in the shadows. But let's go ahead and pop his other head on. There we go. Just trying to mess with the joints a little bit, guys. Sorry, it's blurry and you don't know what's going on. But, alright. This is Darth Maul derobed. Put so much love into this figure. And I'm going to keep saying it too. Like, the glossy belt. All that nice sculpt. This is hard plastic. It's that pliable sort of rubber. Just looking to see there's like a mark, weird mark up there. I think it's just how the mold was. You guys can see it. But his arm, I'll start with head articulation. So his head can look down quite a bit. Can look up quite a bit. It's even got that Adam's apple going on. Arms go up on the ball joints. They do go down and up and down and up. Single jointed elbow. Nope, just wrist rotation and bend, which I love. Just the mixture of matte and gloss. Let's come on. There we go. The gloss gloves going all the way up to here and then turning into matte, which looks awesome. You know, same side, same thing with this side. Um, the gloss, but instead of it sort of does like the up and down, like it's weird for a, I guess, you know, but I guess they wanted both types of uh, bends. Uh, the robe looks awesome that way, the robe looks awesome there, and he does have a ab, I guess, bend. It's not really a crunch, but he does go forward and back, rotate. No, no clicking or anything. It's just like a nice little waist pivot. Underneath, that pliable rubber, some cloth, and then just 
to show his legs are legit. He's got the thigh swivel up top. You can sort of see it if I move all this stuff. He's got the double jointed knee. He's got a cool little texture on the pants too. And he's got those glossy boots and those boots are freaking sweet. Like look at that. All the all the detail in this figure is phenomenal. Um, as for kicking forward, you can do that Spartan kick for sure. Let's go back. Doesn't really maybe it's because of his booty. Yeah, I mean just like all the other figures I'll review, like he would have to kick his leg out a little bit because his butt lip um looks like it causes prevention from kicking backwards. Um as for side kicking or doing the splits. Um, he does get to go this far. And again, I mean, they might get a little bit more leeway, but I'm not risking snapping this dude. <laughs> and then as for his, he doesn't get any rotation in the ankle at all. It's just you can build it up, bend it down. And then he has the nice pivot, really good pivot, honestly. So, like this. This is a must have, guys. Like, I didn't even I pay like what people are asking. Like, I think it was like 45 bucks, something like that. But let's go ahead and let me try putting some sort of, he's not wanting to stand now after I started making him do the splits. He must be tender. But nah, it's probably because of the feet. Of course. Always. Always the feet. Oh, get the... Okay. I missed a big spot. Come on. I want to focus. 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 There it goes. See so that hole there? On the back. There's a nub where you could probably take these blades out, just like the other lightsabers. And let me lay him down. Yep. These can come out to where he can attach it at the hip without it being active which is awesome. I mean, Darth Revan has nothing on Darth Maul. I mean, I, I like Revan. I love Vader. But I really like Darth Maul. And, you know, let's do that big thing here. And how these attach, I mean, you can't really mess it up, but. Let's see, it's cut. So you really can't mess connecting these up. So, let's see what I can. Lost her up here. Because what's the point? Having a Darth Maul, if he can't hold his dual saber, which is awesome. Focus, not one of you choose in the background. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I would have him hold the binoculars, but I mean, it's it's all good. I mean, this. You guys get the idea of how awesome this figure is, and I'm glad to have it part of my collection. Um, as you guys saw at the beginning, you can hit up the uh, niche or niche gift shop, I guess, on eBay or go to their website or whatever. This is from the UK and uh, definitely authentic. I don't see anything on there pointing that it's uh, a, a KO, uh, a knockoff. So I definitely definitely recommend checking these out and uh 
I thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, add a like. Subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff. And, you know, most importantly, you know, good luck hunting. Keep on collecting. Have a wonderful day. And if you guys, again, and this is one thing I'm going to give you guys as a pointer, as a collector, as a hunter, you know, if you start seeing stuff on eBay and they're like, oh, it's 70 bucks or 100 bucks, and I'm going to use the example, Spider-Man Spider 2099. Um, I did a giveaway, and I know some people search for them, and you see them for 70 and 100 So, like, just be patient. You know, don't jump on stuff right away, you know, unless it's, you know, and ask your fellow collectors and, so, and uh, you know, toy hunters say hey i see this is this worth getting because if you're in these groups a lot of times some people have extra ones that they might get from a lot and things like that that they will sell and is nowhere near those ebay prices do not fund the scalpers guys do not put dollars into their pockets because we're collectors and hunters we're doing it for fun and for, because we love to do this don't feed the scalpers so just be patient and you'll find what you're looking for. The grails are just, you know, stones throw away. So thank you guys again and have a wonderful day.